when you put a field like this together. It's uh, heard a couple of good judges not long after the draw came out and uh, they said they hadn't seen a better field. Uh, to be honest, to go through them, it's very hard to... Uh, normally you can sort of rule out a few chances in the race to say they're not quite there, but this year I, I really struggled to, to put anyone, put a line through anyone. Uh, such an even field... We've got up-and-coming dogs, young dogs. We've got some seasoned campaigners around the group scene. So it's brought together a terrific field. And uh, with the box draw now, the way it is there, it's a very exciting race. Um, could be run a couple of different ways. So it'll be interesting to see what happens at box rise. But, uh, yeah, I expect um, probably Explicit, who is the current favourite, to probably be the one uh, punters will be looking at. Uh, he's just what he did in his uh, semi-final last week was exceptional. As Jason alluded to, he didn't begin as well as he can, but he showed enormous pace to get up and give himself a chance at the first turn. And the way he manoeuvred himself through a field, you can't teach that in grand. That's just natural ability. He's such a great chaser. And uh, he went on to run terrific time. So uh, the, you can't fault him at all. I think he's the one to beat out in the seven. Of the rest, um, I like... Um, zipping Megatron still from box two to get a nice run through on the rail and uh, be strong. And uh, I thought Anthony as a party's dog, inconspicuous, uh, was a very, very good run. Um, box five, the only little concern there, it's going to have to jump and do everything right. But uh, yeah, I like uh, seven uh, to be two and, and four, uh, two and five. And uh, I've got a little bit of a watch there, obviously, Bezeki out in the eight. Uh, he's a real up-and-comer, and if things sort of pan out his way, he could figure in the finish as well. 